How to write a factorial function in terms of in terms of primitive recursion recursion? What is the main idea? Uh, the, we want to have a pair, some pair. And uh, we start with this pair, for example. Uh, this is the first element of this pair is the number of iteration. They start uh, from one, and the second element actually is a factorial itself. So we start like this when they go to some state like iteration number two, and they take a previous um, number of the pair second element and multiplied by the um, iteration number. After this, they go to number three, and we'll have two here from the previous step, and go again to the iteration four, where we have six, and we multiply it by four, and so on. This means in the n case they have um, some previous um, uh, element of the previous pair, and they multiply it by n. Okay, like this. So in the common day, uh, we mean that I need to have some function f which takes a and b and transform transfer it to a plus one and also to a plus one multiple b. No, oh, actually not a plus one. Uh, actually a. All we need is a. a plus one go to the uh, next uh, iteration. Okay. And what we what we we have here? We have here some function which take a pair and produce to us the new pair. The the First element increased by one, and the second element is constructed from the second element of the pair and number of the iteration we just multiplied. So we have we need to have the pair data structure. We need to have successor function for this thing and also we need to have the multiplication and actually all these things we have in our lambda calculus and now if i have for example if i want to, to have for example factorial of five what i need to do i need to apply this function to the one and one. What it will, what it will produce? It will increase this step by one and multiply one by one. Okay. And the factorial actually we take the second element and the factorial of one is one. If they want factorial of two, we need to just apply this result, the factorial again, a function again, sorry. If you want three, we, we need to apply f again, and so on. So actually, you can see here that they have 
this number of applications. Which depends on the actuarial number which you want to find. But if we remember the church numerals, we can find the similar pattern here. Actually, this thing can be represented as a church numeral. Uh, for example, if we have some K church numeral, we can apply to it F function and the initial argument 1 and 1. For example, if I replace it with a 3, I will exactly with a church numeral get the same thing here. But I need a common case because I want to write this function. Actually, this means that I want to construct some lambda which take this k and apply it and for this k it apply this f function and one 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 pair okay i know how to define one and one and i know how to define the pair all we do this in the our previous videos but how can I define f function? Actually, this I need this function f. Also, in the lambda in lambda calculus notation. Okay, what we need to do? We need to implement this f function. How can it be implemented? We can define it as a function as a lambda term, which takes pair and what is the body here uh, you can see here that they need to provide a pair again and uh, what is a pair we know that a pair is represented with some lambda function which must take the first and the second element. So this means that they can provide it as a pair. So we can define it later, but now it is some term which need to take uh, as a first some successor, successor of um, First element of this pair and how we take it so we just take this pair and apply the first accessor to it and take its accessor and uh, also we need provide the second element and this is a multiplication. We okay. We know how to multiply two terms. So this needs to say to us that they can define this multiplication term. Um, and what they do? They multiply the first element of the pair the second element of the pair actually the, this thing means that they need to take p from first and p from second okay i think like this yes we can encode this pair like this Okay, I think now time to define all these helpers. So I, I copy this for a moment. Um, so we need first, uh, second multiplication pair. Okay, let's start the, the first. 
let first that this is the lambda function of this form. Second, this is the lambda function of this form. Also, we need pair. Uh, we know that it's encoded in this way. We take a b and some function f, and they do the application of a to a and b. Okay. Also, we need uh, we want to have the uh, multi successor successor successor. Uh, the successor function takes some um, number and what it's do it's do application so we need to apply n to this number the f and x to remove uh, the signature and also we need to add some additional application of f and here we need to add the f and x to satisfy the signature of the church numeral mm -hmm. Well, let's check this for example if i take successor of one zero one yes you can see it works so what do they need uh, now we need multiplication yes multiplication multiplication this is the lambda function which take two numbers m and n and how it works actually they take this M and apply it to N for which we apply F actually give us the ability to take N and M times and they need to have the X here and here we need to add F and X yeah, if I'm not mistaken, and let's check syntax error. Of course, of course, of course, I need to do point here. Now let's check our multiplication. Going to I expect four, yes, and I guess four. For example, here I expect 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think it works. Now we can go back to our factorial. Okay. So let's do a little bit changing here. I switch this part here. And here I need to, I want to actually, I want to define this f function. And I define it as a lambda term. Which takes pair. And it construct pair which it apply the successor of the first of the pair and the multiplication of the first yes i think they can try to try to apply this okay there is an error Hmm. Hmm. I need to let from the lower case. Hmm. It accept this. Now let's um, go again to 
again to but no 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 let's 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 uh, for for start uh, let's just check our function how it it works so if i apply this f to the pair uh in which i have uh, one and one what i will receive oh, okay we can see many iterations and what i receive i receive this strange thing and i think the problem here i have to do the typo so yeah i need to yes i need to redefine this second and first because i need space here i don't do it this is very bad okay let's try to define like this and like this okay now let's try to run it again what i need i need to run okay let's run again our f function with with some pair 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 of one and one like this what do they have ho 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 i think problem is that all these bad definitions go here inside of this f and i need to rewrite it mm, very bad so this thing and this bit no oh, not right adjust it okay i think i can edit it just here just here okay if okay try number three i think try number three will be successful where one one go to our f function if we apply this i expect to see second as the first element no <laughs> actually uh, yes uh, as a second element uh, we we have um we have one and n is equal yes i think it's work work it start to work oh well, let's try something else for example if i provide iteration number two or three where result i think will be six six and and they have this next 24 i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty mm. Why 80? Hmm, I think that's okay because 3 multiply 6. We have 80. Actually, to get the correct factorial, I need just to apply f multiple times. So, okay, what I'm doing? I start from 1 and 1 and I apply f again. Uh, for example, and f again. So now I expect to have the factorial of uh, factorial equal to six, I think. Oh, very long. Mm, very long. But at the end, they finish with six. Okay, it works. Oh, not now. What I need? 
Okay, now I need to do the abstractions, abstraction of the from this f the, the church numeral, and uh, this calculator uh, I think has already church numeral. I'm not, I'm not sure that it has them greater than nine, but they can try. So I will take this pair as an initial seat and. Put it into, for example, free numeral. And as a first argument, it will receive F, and as a second, this pair. And let's try. What we have? I expect six. Again, I expect six. Yes, I have six. Very interesting. So now, for example, can it accept 11? Wow, it can accept 11. But of course, <laughs> I think we have no time to compile this. And let's keep this. So actually, this is the implementation of the factorial in a terms of primitive recursion. We have no recur recursion here. We have somehow like a for loop in imperative style. Okay, I am risky and <laughs> I try to calculate five. I think this can be long. But I'll try. Let's go. Oh, we can sleep. Oh, my PC in madness. Wow, we finished. So, how many Fs we have here? Okay, I, I'll count them with Haskell, of course. I don't want to count them by hand. Oh, let's copy this string this part of string actually yeah what they need we need to i think we need to run haskell haskell and put this all this thing inside a string and now i want to Filter this thing. So, think like this. So, the, if I'm not mistaken, we have this, we can pick up every of such an element, and the condition is our element is F. Hmm. Okay, I forgot a little bit the syntax of the list comprehensions, but I think it look like this. Yes, I count all the Fs and now I'll take the length of the string and I have exactly the factorial of 5. But <laughs> why why have this extra F here? Ah, because I take this little, not from the body. I, I I need to take all the body, but I get this extra. Okay. But anyway, it works. Uh, 
one thing that they can fix here they, they have actually the pair as a result this means uh, that i need to abstract from these five with some lambda k this k apply to this thing and after these i need to take the second hmm. no no of course no uh, after these I need to take second. Yes. And now if I apply free, I expect a good result, like six. Ah. Okay. Yes, I have six. So actually, this is a factorial in the terms of primitive recursion. There is no recursion here. There is imperative for. Okay. One bad thing about this calculator is that it can. Uh, it can handle this binding to let's actually I defined it it's uh, the uh, start of the video I defined this f in a more natural way but it uh, do all the substitution and uh, this substitution actually um, um, bind all the errors the type of errors which I do and this uh, uh, this is hard because in lambda calculus you need to be very Carefully watching uh, all the very many details uh, on which you saw this like a like an, an assembler assembler of the functional programming. So guys, if you like Haskell, if you like Lambda calculus, put a one little like to this video or write a comments. If you learn Haskell or Lambda calculus, you are like a man in this world of imperative pussies so i respect you and uh, let's listen some strong music mm.